Hello, welcome to Friendship Shaving. Mark here, and tonight I thought I'd talk to you about the brush that I used in the last video. This brush is handmade in the Isle of Man, UK by a company called Progress Vulfix, and they are renowned for producing superior quality brushes at a very reasonable price. This is one of their London series of brushes, this one's called the Hyde Park, as you might be able to see. It's a pure badger brush. And although that is the lowest grade of badger brush that you can get, it is nevertheless very soft indeed. It's perfect for splaying and for brushing backwards and forwards. And really good for face lathering. It's a small brush, so perhaps it is a little small for bowl lathering, but it is nevertheless an excellent, excellent brush. It has a nice backbone, which is the springiness of the hair. Obviously when it's wet that would be a little bit softer, but it's a very comfortable brush to hold. As you can see, it's got this um, groove around the bottom which just seemed to fit my fingers perfectly. So if you're looking for a really good brush at a really reasonable price, perhaps this is the one for you. It is only 90 millimeters high. The brush height, or the knot height rather, is uh, 48 millimeters, and it's 20 millimeters across the diameter of the base. A more usual diameter would perhaps be 24 millimeters. It's uh, got it's made from acrylic in this lovely ivory colored handle and um, it is a very very nice brush indeed. So I'll be shaving with that tonight. Um, I have to say I thoroughly recommend this brush. It, uh, I looked long and hard for uh, a good badger brush that was a reasonable price and I'm very, very pleased with this one. It's a great brush. So I have some water in the sink, so we'll just get that soaking before I lather up. Uh, tonight I'll be using my uh, Velvet Double Edge Safety Razor. Very lovely razor. And I'll be using my Parasso White Soap again. Lovely soap. So if you'll excuse me, I'll take my glasses off, uh, wash my face and we'll start loading up the brush. So the brush is nice and wet, so I'm just going to squeeze it out, give it a couple of shakes. I'll stand back here a bit so you can see, but I'm going to load the brush now and just get it in there on the soap. This Parasso is a soft soap, so it's very easy to load the brush with. There we go, now I'm just going to Run the tap slightly, add a dribble of water to the brush, shake, and back to the soap. Oh, I love this soap. <laughs> uh, just going to add a drop more water to the brush again. Shake it out. Starting to get some creaminess to the lather now.
And I think we're about there actually. I've just realised I've got my collared shirt on. So uh, we might get in a bit of a mess tonight. Let's get this sock on. You can see as I put the brush on my face and I splay it. It's a nice sized brush for my face. It's, um, it's lovely and soft as I've said. Just get a bit more water on the lather. It's a little bit dry. So you can see that this is a nice brush that will get a scrubby motion going and I can also paint the lather on if you like. I think we're about there. So we'll just uh, get the angle right on this uh, blade. Very nice. So uh, Christmas is coming and um, I've got my order in for lots of new uh, shaving soaps so hopefully my family will be kind to me and I'll be able to show you lots of new soaps in the uh, following weeks. A lovely little razor this one. I might do a review on this one next time. It's a very nice razor. That's not a bad first pass at all. So we'll uh, Lather up again. You know when you first get a badger brush, or I suppose any hair brush, um, they do have a tendency to smell a bit and that is entirely natural and nothing to be worried about. When I got this one it smelled a bit like a wet dog that had gone off. but. To be honest, it only really smells when it's wet and when you stick your nose in it. Um, and none of that smell transfers to your face. Now it takes a couple of weeks to break in a badger brush for the, uh, the, hairs, the hair tips to break down a little bit and soften and for the, the brush to bloom it's called, it spreads out. And also for any residual smell, as I've said, that is that is a common feature with animal hair brushes uh, to dissipate. And now of course it just smells of soap. <laughs> so if you get one and it smells a bit strange, don't worry about it, that's entirely natural.
Here we are now, second pass. I'm trying to do quite a quick shave tonight. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I've already been talking about the brush. Getting that very nice indeed. <laughs> Can't stop smelling this soap. Now, if you were worried that um, you know having a smaller brush would make it more difficult to get enough soap on there for three passes. You can see this is my third pass now, I'm going to have to drop more water to that. And I loaded the brush very quickly because we were on, you know, on film, um, so to speak. So, it, you know, don't worry about not getting enough soap in your brush. It's, um, especially with a softer soap like Parasa, it's incredibly easy and um, in fact there's absolutely loads still on here that I don't need. So I'll just give that a quick rinse off. And we're on for our third pass. Good enough, eh? Easy as that. That's lovely. Right, just rinse my face and I'll be back. Drop a hot. <laughs> That's great. So uh, I'm going to use some Lucky Tiger tonight. This is a lovely, subtle aftershave. Uh, soothes and refreshes, it says on the uh, bottom front there, and it certainly does. I uh, love this stuff. It's got a lovely, uh, oh, a lovely citrusy smell. Do you know, it feels so good when you put it on as well. Oh, 
up to clean my collar. I'll tell you what, it didn't do too badly really. So there we are, all done. The Friendship Shave tonight was brought to you by the very nice Hyde Park Pure Badger Brush from Progress Full Fix. I love this brush, I've really, it's become one of my firm favourites and uh, yeah, what a great brush. Enjoy using that. And also, my little velvet razor. Uh, yeah, I'll do more on that another time, but uh, until then, Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Cheers.